Okay. Now I'm going to assume that you have got Garmin Homeport downloaded. Now Homeport does not put an icon on the desktop out here anywhere. I've seen rare cases in Windows XP and older versions of Windows on their operating system that would create a shortcut icon on the desktop but normally you're going to have to hunt for it and how we do that is go to your start button and that's off of the off of this screen that you're looking at but you know where your start button is so click it and then roll up to all programs and then you want to find the Garmin folder click on the Garmin folder and then home port will be there if you've installed it it'll definitely be in the Garmin folder after you click all programs so click to open it now uh, your map will not show any of this stuff here um, that you're seeing because these are all of our maps are unlocked obviously we have full versions of Homeport on all of our computers um, so you'll probably see just a base map of the US which is fine because we're not using this for the actual map we're trying to get all the fishing spots to your SD card so you can get it onto your Garmin alright so um, what you'll want to be sure of at this point is the SD card is not inserted all the way and also that your GPS upload fishing spots file all our fishing spots files for GPS's they start with the words GPS upload make sure that file is somewhere where you can access it the desktop preferably that's where I have this file for the instructional that I'm about to show you okay so what we do is we go up to file click file then click import okay and I know that I have saved my GPS file on the desktop so you'll highlight it by clicking it once whatever the name of your area is and if you if you purchase multiple areas that's fine just bring them in one at a time just to be safe okay so highlight it click once on highlight and then click once on open and then that's going to bring them in and in this case this is Alabama and um, whatever your fishing spots area is you'll probably see a blob of fishing uh, fishing spots icons all over the place or rather a blob of them somewhere you know on the on the base map that you'll have and you should see them down here on the left as well all right so what we want to do now we're ready for the SD card so go ahead and insert it and you're going to see a window mm -hmm. pop up here for media and this folder that says untitled uh, that's exactly what we want okay and what we'll do is move back up to here to your GPS upload file click it once to highlight it okay then click on the folder um, left click it hold the hold your left click down and drag that file straight down on top of, of the untitled folder don't let go of your left clicker until you're directly over the untitled folder then let it go and then you'll see a green progress bar and believe it or not um, that's it that that area is on our SD card and ready to be loaded to any late model GPS any late model Garmin GPS that accepts an SD card this format um, is what is what will work nothing else will work to do to do this uh, process okay next we're gonna check ourselves and be sure it's on the card so remove your SD card from the computer you'll see that part go away there okay and then let's get rid of all these two just to be safe we're gonna get rid of everything to make sure they're on the card so right click on 
this file and click delete folder and contents and now everything's about to be gone which is what we want okay now if we've done it right when we stick back we reinsert the uh, the SD card and stick it back in the PC this stuff's going to reappear in the untitled folder okay so here's the untitled folder just left click it once and everything should come back all right and you're done now you're ready to take it to your GPS you can uninsert it now and when you take it to your GPS go into your card options and merge the numbers to the GPS from card I believe the option for most of Garmin's is merge from card um, and you might see occasionally copy from card and then you'll be done and you can pull out your you can pull the card back out of your GPS and just put it up for safekeeping so I hope this tutorial has helped you and again remember you can load as many fishing spots as you would like uh, just do them one at a time and drag them to the untitled folder here uh, one at a time it's the safest thing to do and then take them all to your GPS at once and load them individually so again I hope it's helped and uh, thank you for doing business with GPS Fishing Maps LLC and please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.